Hello, Witty Wave here, and welcome to a thrilling exploration of the often murky, always fascinating world of sponsored content. Join me, your trusty guide, as I uncover the hidden truths and challenges behind those seemingly innocent paid partnerships and hash ads that grace our screens daily. We'll delve into the good, the bad, and the downright deceptive, so buckle up, dear viewers, because things are about to get, well, let's just say illuminating. Did you know that over 50% of social media users have seen sponsored content in the past month? Shocking, right? Well, not really, it's everywhere. Like that persistent house guest who never seems to leave, sponsored content has infiltrated every nook and cranny of our online existence. From your Instagram feed to your favorite YouTuber's latest video, it's become as unavoidable as a political argument at Thanksgiving dinner. Sponsored content is now a huge part of influencer marketing and online ads. It's everywhere. We're talking a multi-billion dollar industry built on the premise that if someone with a large enough following tells you a certain brand of charcoal toothpaste will make you irresistible, you'll believe them. And hey, maybe it will, but that's not really the point, is it? The point is, this is big business, folks. And where there's big money, there are always, let's call them opportunities for things to get a little shady. But here's the kicker. Is it always authentic? Is it transparent? And what about our trust? Because here's the thing about trust. It's built on honesty, transparency, and the comforting certainty that you're not being blatantly lied to. Sponsored content, unfortunately, often throws a rather large wrench into that equation. When is an endorsement simply an endorsement? And when is it a carefully crafted sales pitch disguised as a genuine recommendation? Remember that time an influencer promoted a product they clearly never used? Yeah, we've all seen it. And it's about as convincing as a penguin trying to sell you sunscreen. It's these moments of blatant disregard for authenticity that erode our trust and make us question everything we see online. Because seriously, if someone's willing to shill a weight loss tea they've clearly never touched while sporting a suspiciously filtered physique, what else are they willing to lie about? It gets tricky when you can't tell if it's a genuine recommendation or just a paid promo. Makes you think twice, huh? This is where things get really interesting, or should I say, deliberately confusing. As consumers, we're constantly bombarded with information and it's becoming increasingly difficult to differentiate between genuine content and cleverly disguised marketing ploys. Deceptive sponsored content can really mess with our trust. That's why transparency and authenticity are so important. When influencers fail to disclose paid partnerships or promote products they don't genuinely use, it erodes audience trust and damages the credibility of both the influencer and the brand they're promoting. It's a lose-lose situation like trying to juggle chainsaws while riding a unicycle on a tightrope. It's just not going to end well. What do you think about sponsored content? Let us know in the comments and check out our next video on the impact of advertising on social media. Don't forget to like and subscribe because your thoughts and opinions are valuable. Unless you disagree with me, in which case you're clearly misinformed. But seriously, share your thoughts, engage in lively debate. Just keep it civil, people. And let's continue this conversation. So, there you have it, the good, the bad, and the ugly side of sponsored content. It's like a digital Wild West out there, folks, full of promise and peril in equal measure. As consumers, we need to be savvy, discerning, and perhaps a little bit cynical when navigating the treacherous terrain of online endorsements. Remember, just because someone with perfect teeth and an aspirational lifestyle tells you to buy something doesn't mean you have to. Unless it's charcoal toothpaste, in which case, please consult your dentist. This has been Witty Wave, and if you like the, this content, please like and subscribe. Savoured this video, fancy another? Click the on-screen video for an even deeper dive into fresh territory. Your support is like a warm cuppa on a brisk day. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell for the latest content. Cheers for watching.